I went out with my madam. When we got there, the woman was like, where are the guys? She said, we will do it. She said, yeah. Hey. She said, yes. And we climbed the car and we walked on it. The man ended up paying us two times of the bill. It's 2019 and women are becoming more bold and fearless. You know, businesses that you think only men do, these days women are actually going out there and making a huge difference. Today we're meeting Dami. Dami is a glass technician and has been doing it for 10 years. She's also happily married and a mother of one. This is Legit TV. My name is Sheondro Jaye. Stay tuned. I'm the general manager of Echo Glass Ventures here in Abuja. And Echo Glass Ventures is a sole representative for glass mechanics, which is a US based company. I had my OND certificate from Federal Polytechnic BIDA in Bizadme, and I have my BSc in the uh, University of Abuja, same course, business administration. So, what made you change your mind? Why did you choose this line of career? Well, actually, it, was, it all started when I was looking for where to do my IT. I got to know about Echo Glass. So they gave me the opportunity to come and do the IT with them, only on the condition that I have to train, as in no delay the work they do, which I agreed to. And I got trained. Since then, I've been doing it, and I'm happy doing it. So when customers come, especially male customers, are they usually surprised when they see that it's a woman that has to tend to their problem? Yes. What we are was like, just give us like an instant of the reaction you got from one of your customers. There was a woman, uh, Mrs. Anita, that came here to do a repair. I happened to be the one to do it. First, she was like, uh, can you do it? I said, yes, it's the work I do, I do it. So I climbed the car and I worked on it she was so impressed since then anytime she comes here she insisted that i worked on her car she doesn't even allow any other person to work even when she sends another person then there was this man that we had to go outside to do the work um, it, i went out with my madam then mrs sa hoju we're just two of us when we got there the woman was like where are the guys she said we will do it Say, hey. say yes. Then we climbed the car and we walked on it. The man ended up paying us two times of the bill. So run me through how you do it. When they bring the windscreen problem to you, what, is the, what are the tools you set out there? Like, for instance, I'm looking at this and I'm confused. So what is this? What do you use it for? Yeah, as you said, this is, our, this is the complete tools. We have hardware and we have the software. The softwares are the consumable ones that you use, it gets finished, you buy another one. And the hardware hardware are the ones you use for long in as much as you maintain them very well. Like this very one, this is a power vac. We call it power vac or PV. We make use of this one. We want to um, repair and impact break, all these dots break on the windscreen. That's when we make use of this. And its own function is like the hands the hand that will carry the equipment that will house the resin. And this is our ejector body. This is where we we'll keep the resin to use in repairing the, the brakes. And the last one, which is the main equipment, is a, is, is a software. We we'll call it resin. It's glass in liquid form. Yes, is this that we use to fill the, the, the repair area while repairing. Okay, uh, just give me an estimate. How many cars have you fixed since you started this business? Ah, Chai, <laughs> I, can't, I can't really, sir, but at least, depends, like, um, at least two cars in a day. So what advice do you have for women who want to pick this line of career? Uh, I would just advise them that they should remain, remain hardworking, focused, and don't let any challenge deprive them of their 
So you advise women to go into the business? Yes, they're very good and lucrative one. And it's not a stressful, it's not a business that is stressful or dirty. It's a very good one.